Good morning guys! We are just about to leave to go to the centre of Madrid. We live in the outskirts of Madrid, but we used to live yeah. right bang in the centre. Now Maya was born in a little flat in the centre of Madrid. Eva was born there as well, but then when Eva was two weeks old, we moved out to the suburbs. But we still own this little flat. Up until now, it's been rented out, but the tenants are leaving. So we're going today to get the keys off the tenants and to see the flat. And it's gonna be the first time in six years. <laughs> That I've seen this flat. So I'm really excited to see it. That flat has so many memories. You know, they're really excited to see Daddy's flat and go to the centre of Madrid. So that's what we're going to do today. And Alba wants to come. We're going to leave Alba home with John's mum, but she wants to come. You're going to come and see the flat as well? Yeah? It's exciting! We have arrived! Here we are. This is our old neighbourhood. Our old graffiti-filled neighbourhood <laughs> is absolutely empty because it's August, it's summer. The streets are really quiet, which is lovely because when there's loads of people, it's just too much. We had about 10 minutes to spare before the tenants arrived, so we decided to go to our old local park. John used to take Amaya to this park every afternoon when she was a baby and I was out working. And John decided to show off his skills on the monkey bars. I also tried, but didn't quite succeed. And then we decided to go and visit our favourite bakery. I used to go to this bakery every morning and buy the most delicious chocolate muffin ever. And I would always eat my muffin while walking to work. Here we are, coming up to the flat. I didn't really have time to take a proper video of the flat, but you can more or less see it here. And this is where we lived. I think we lived in this flat for about four years in total. Really good with the flat, it's lovely. They've left it really clean and tidy. The only problem is we need to paint. The walls are a bit yuck, so we've we just met with the painter. The painter's gonna repaint the whole flat and get it looking nice to hopefully sell it or rent it out again. We would love to sell it, but it's very difficult to sell things in the centre of Madrid now because after the pandemic, everyone wants to go and live in the outskirts. Nobody wants to live in the city centre of Madrid anymore. And this flat's in the city centre, so it's gonna be very difficult to sell it, but hopefully we can rent it out again. So what I most miss about living here is there was two restaurants. I mean, there's loads of amazing restaurants around here, but we had two favorite restaurants, an Asian Chinese restaurant and a Thai restaurant. So now we are headed to the Thai restaurant. We're gonna get loads of food. Walking around here, I have missed it. Like I've missed it. Bringing back all these memories and I'm like, oh. I mean, it's so sad because so many shops have closed because of the pandemic. So many businesses have gone under, but there's still a lot of businesses still open. There's still loads of restaurants and it's lovely to be back. Because that's the thing about living in the outskirts. I mean, there's not really great restaurants. There's, there's no good Chinese restaurant. I don't even think there's any Thai restaurant. There's not much of anything, <laughs> to be honest. But it's nice, like it's nice to live in the outskirts when you've got a family. We're now just about to walk past my old flat. I had a flat right next to John's flat. We sold my flat in order to buy the house that we live in now. Oh wow, the outside of the flat has changed so much. When I lived there, it was this 
horrible faded orange colour and it was full of dampness. It looked horrific. And now that they've painted it this maroon colour, it looks a hundred times better. My little flat was actually gorgeous inside. It was very small, but it was fully renovated. I used to keep it really clean and tidy, and I just loved it. I absolutely loved my little flat. to have a little bit of a tantrum. I'm sitting out here with Alba until she calms down because I'm not going to go into the restaurant with her crying. When you're ready, let me know. We can go and have something to eat, okay? We'll just stay here. I'm starving and I want to eat now. The food was delicious, just as delicious as I had always remembered it. The girls even ate some of it, which I didn't think they would. to walk about our old neighbourhood. This hotel has changed so much. We've come to a delicatessen called Mallorca, which is just beside John's flat because his mum wanted croissants from this specific place. This has got the most amazing bakery items, meats. Look at these chocolates. But the problem is, everything is so expensive here. We ended up paying two euros per croissant. Even though I think John's mum wanted about five, we only got her two. And then it was time to drive home. Bye Madrid. home. It was lovely to go into the centre of Madrid and reminisce. Although I don't think I could go back and live in the city centre. It's nice to go for the day but then you want to go back to the peace and quiet and the greenery in the country. So I think we'll probably end up staying in the outskirts for the rest of our life. But it was nice and it was nice to see the flat. I'm glad that they haven't destroyed it and hopefully we'll find some new tenants to stay in it for a very long time. Selling it is just not gonna be an option unless we were to sell it for peanuts and we don't wanna do that. And the meal was lovely but my stomach is really sore because I've only been eating organic fruit, veg, nuts and seeds for more than a month and we went and I ate everything. I ate curries and rice and fried spring roll. Now I'm feeling it. I can feel it in my stomach and I'm sure I'll have put on a few kilos thanks to that meal but never mind. I'm just going to make the kids dinner now and then we're going to go to bed. Thank you for watching this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!